Hey guys, Ajax22 here, making a quick viewer request video about that Uberti single action army copy of the Colt, uh, the one in black powder, muzzle loading, the legal non gun. Some of you are asking why I bother to have one. Um, well, it's because it's kind of an interesting project in and of itself. Uh, they made some very minor modifications to the Uberti 45 single action army copy to make this gun, uh, and I mean very minor. If you drop the cylinder out, uh, pull the base pin first, you'll notice that it is dimensionally a 45 caliber single action army, um, 44 caliber bore, it's slightly underboard. Um, and then they just have these weird cutouts around the uh, nipples for the percussion caps, which is essentially just there to prevent these from being adapted into a standard 45 long colt or board through you know board through um, that is one of the major modifications and you'll notice that that modification isn't actually made to the frame of the gun um, you know they still have the uh, indexing uh, catch in the in the same location um, Actually, it might be slightly offset. I'd have to double check that. Um, if it is slightly offset, it makes it a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but not a huge pain in the ass. Um, you just simply have to mill the slot slightly over. Uh, it does look like it's slightly off-center, but I don't know if on the regular single-action armies it's supposed to be off-center slightly. Um, my guess would be that it's probably on the center line normally, and they just moved it ever so slightly off. Um, but that's a pretty quick fix. Uh, simply broach it over a little bit or use some pattern files to move it and then uh, shim it back from the back side, um, maybe even weld a new piece in. Pretty minor. I mean, it sounds like a lot more than it is. Um, the bore will accommodate a 45 cal bullet. Um, you might need to add a forcing cone a little bit. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Um, if it does need a, a little bit of a forcing cone, you could probably just uh, take a reamer, add a little bit of a taper to it. The interesting thing is here. You'll notice that the firing pin hole is offset. Um, you can see where it would be. The uh, mill marks are there, but they only milled it on one side and then, Correspondingly, they have the firing pin pinned into the hammer, and it only has half of one, so it's slightly off center as well. Now, that's an easy enough piece to replace. You simply drive out that pin and put a real firing pin on it that has material right, right down the center. Uh, the hard part's actually here, because you'll notice that slot that it goes through is somewhat irregular. So, to replace that, you actually wind up having to mill. Uh, a, a large a large hole in the back and then come in from the front side and uh, maybe even down the barrel and add a lip to that that you can then press fit a bushing in place which will allow it to uh, not have the, f the firing pin primers uh, blow backwards. I know a guy that did a conversion on one of these um, I've seen his thread online that's what inspired me. Uh, he got it to the point where um, he just milled the hole out. He didn't add any material to it. And um, there was a problem where, you know, he'd pull the trigger, drop the hammer, it would go through the hole, and then the firing, uh, the, the firing pin would strike the primer on the, uh, the 45 cartridge. But because it didn't have a bushing to support it, it would blow out backwards and actually drive the hammer back. And of course, he had the uh, trigger held down, so that would just keep indexing the cylinder and firing it. I believe his first uh, attempt at firing that gun discharged three rounds, um, at which point he said, uh, you know, I'm not going to screw around with a revolver that's legally a machine gun and uh, trash the project. Um, I think you can do it without turning the revolver into a machine gun. Um, 
it's just going to be a little bit more work than he anticipated. But that's why I have this. Uh, it's going to be a 45 caliber single action army. I'm going to switch out the cylinder. I'm going to um, modify the cylinder catch if necessary. I'm going to modify the frame on a mill and then add a bushing to it and then I'm going to adapt the firing pin and that should be everything that it takes to make this into a functioning cartridge firearm. Um, it has the ejector, has the loading gate. I mean, this is this is the Uberti frame for their single action army. Mm. It's a pretty, pretty nice gun actually. I think this thing was pretty cheap. Um, I think they've gone up in price since I got it. Because I've been sitting on these projects for a while while I was living out of state. But, uh, yeah, all in all, it should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, that's why I have one. And I uh, hope that answers some of the questions you all, you all had. <laughs> have a good one.